Listening to Catherine and Tay at Gippsland FM 104.7. This is the Latrobe Youth Space Radio Show for your Wednesday evening. We're here till 6 pm. After that, Keely will be taken over with some absolute chart toppers coming up from 6 till 7 pm. I had to, had to think about that for a sec. And that was Jason Raz with I'm Yours. Um, and if you're feeling a bit nostalgic, then yeah. That is definitely deliberate. We have an episode for you today that is all about nostalgia. Yeah. That's our theme. You guessed it. You did it. (laughs) Throwback. Yeah, absolutely. Or whatever you call it. Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Thursday. (laughs) What can Wednesday be? Wine back Wednesday. Wine back Wednesday. Oh, I like that. That sounds amazing. Oh, time travel Tuesday. I don't know. (laughs) Fast track Friday. Yes. Love it. Ah. Okay, so yeah, so theme of the week is nostalgia. Um, What does nostalgia... Nostalgia is so hard to put your finger on, like, in terms of a feeling. What does it feel like to you? Probably just, like, more of my childhood and just, like, all the memories I got when I was a kid and made me happy. Yeah. I guess. Yep, yep. I had to to Google what nostalgia means because I'm like, I know what it means, but I don't know if it's the right term. I'm going to say it right. But then again, it's just anything... That you, it reminds you of, basically. True. That is so true. Do you ever get, like, because I feel like nostalgia is really unique because it's not quite super happy, but it's not sad, but it can be both at different times. But a lot of the time, nostalgia for me is, like, it's such a weird feeling because part of me feels, like, really good. Like, my brain feels really good, but my stomach always feels really sick. I'm like, (laughs) oh, I don't know why. It's It's like a weird mix of, like, Stress, sadness, longing, happiness, joy. Yeah, well, it's a bit of everything, actually. A bit of everything. It's such it a depends mix. what it is. Like true, that's true. Like in our next couple of things we're going to talk about, like if you're watching like an old school like TV show. Yeah. You're like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I mean, when I was a kid watching that, eat popcorn. You know, it just gives me them old school feels. Yes. Oh, yeah. Literally. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. Nostalgia is a really tricky one to put in put into words I suppose but um yeah we're gonna be chatting about it yeah so with nostalgia like what tends to make you feel nostalgic probably like movies and tv shows yeah because I, I'm just gonna talk about it but I'll talk more a bit about it later yes yeah, um good. just like I remember it come to dinner time and MASH would come on, like... Yes. And you'd be sitting there eating dinner watching MASH. <laughs> and that's all I remember, like, every time. But now, if it comes on, because it's been cut yeah. off TV a bit. Yeah. But every time it comes on, Dad's, like, straight onto it. And we're just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> just yeah. the days. Literally. That's so real. Yeah. Absolutely. Or even music. Yeah. Like, them songs that you're just like... I remember jamming out, dancing in my bedroom to them songs. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. No, it's definitely, it's hard to pinpoint. I think as we mentioned earlier, it always seems to, for me, to be around like spring and summertime that I get the most nostalgia. Yeah. I'm not even sure why, but like for some reason, I feel like my brain remembers those times more, but probably because we had that much time off school during the summertime. So it's like one of the only times where it wasn't just like, oh, business as usual. Yeah, that's true. It's a bit different, did different things. Even just spring, it's just like... Just spring, yeah. Yeah, you just walk out. Like, this is what I feel. I'm just like, it's, it's a like nice a sp- sunny day and you just like, it feels like a cricket day. Yeah, literally. Yes. Yes. Um, And I feel like smell is really related to nostalgia as well. Yeah. Like, f- freshly cut grass. Yeah. Just like, oh. Yeah, literally. And like, sorry to those people who have hay fever, but... uh, I've got hay fever, but I'm just like... <laughs> I pull through. <laughs> Literally. But also pollen, like that real sweet smell in the air in spring. Yep. Does it for some reason? I'm just like, gosh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and then you're yeah, sneezing for the rest of the day, but you know. <laughs> true. Oh my God, true. And like real strong smells like um, the smell of smoke and stuff. Yeah. Particularly eucalyptus smoke makes me think back 
because like we did a lot of camping growing up but also like bushfires like we all probably have memories around that season yeah summer to some degree summertime in general yeah yeah no it's weird I feel like smells are really related to it but but with smells it's like you can never quite pinpoint exactly what smell like there's not a specific memory that a smell triggers it's just like a feeling yeah that's true a general vibe for me anyway (laughs) Don't know about you. Yeah, look, God is... Every time I do something, it's like, I remember doing that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, like, um, I did something the other day. I think, oh, I found, like, oh, something that was in my cupboard from when I was a kid. Mm. And I, oh, it was, I made a wooden box. Yeah? And, like, if you are on our Facebook page, me and Danica made a wooden box. True. And I'm like, it just take me back. I found it in my cupboard. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was like seven, oh eight years ago or whatever. How long it was? Yeah. And it's just like, I had the most fun ever, like making that box, and it just like filled me with joy. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I sort of had that today actually, real similar. I found this uh, little like music box I'd made in um back in art class in like year ten. Yeah. out of clay and I was like what <laughs> but I remember yeah I had so much fun making that with my friend at the time yeah yeah it was really cool and like you can still because I like burnt the wood like they yeah. said they wood burners and you can still smell it like really yeah wow because it's got like a pacific pacific ocean the, no, yeah. it's, just, <laughs> it's, <all good. laughs> it's they're hard they oh, are legitimately that hard smell like the you can smell that burnt wood out of that yeah. wood carving stuff that they had at school and yeah literally you're just like oh take oh. me back to those days 100 <laughs> percent. yep so we've been chatting about what nostalgia sort of like means it's a little bit hard to like define it I suppose because it's so different for everyone as we found out like I was like oh yeah but you can't remember like specific memories and he's like yeah I remember specific memories all the time I'm like oh okay (laughs) (laughs) it's such a different experience for every single person um but yeah like what does it feel like for you um and where do you tend to experience nostalgia like the most well that's a tough one because I just um like feel nostalgia everywhere everywhere I go really yeah like if I go to like out for dinner we normally just go to one place and it's always the yeah. same place that we I went as a kid and oh. it hasn't really changed much <laughs> you're just like oh, oh I remember coming here as a kid and it, was, it looks so much bigger than what it did oh. but now it's like it's really small so yeah oh and literally that is such a relatable feeling yeah when as a kid you were like I'm tiny and everything's huge. And then you, you're an adult and you're like, God, it's t- everything was a lot smaller yeah. than I thought it was. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, wow. I was a small fish in a medium-sized pond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a big fish and this pond ain't so big anymore. <laughs> I've got like an inch to move. Literally. Oh, so real. Yeah, yep. but just like, even like, because I started footy when I was younger and like same with cricket, like on them days of just like, it's sunny outside, not too hot, not too cold. This feels like a footy training day or a cricket training day, and it's just like yes, oh, yep. it's throwback. Just brilliant. Yeah, and you can smell like people mowing their lawns, yeah. and you just hear it, and it's just like oh, just yep. <laughs> reminds me of my childhood. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Even though everyone does it every day, but yeah, well, true. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get them days. You just like you just think back to your childhood. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Absolutely. Even like when my mum cooks like her homemade dinners. Oh, yep, yep, yep. And it's like, I remember this as a kid and it's still so good. (laughs) Right? Literally. Yes. Honestly, food. Food is a big one for me. Oh, yeah. Definitely a big one. Because, yeah, like my mum, very much into food, very much into family dinners. Like she was a chef, which helped, (laughs) obviously. (laughs) Um, But yeah, like she loved cooking for us. And yeah, it was just a thing. We always got together for a meal every day. So. Even if it was just, like, some weird concoction of, like, week-old, two-week-old leftovers, like, thrown <laughs> in a pot. It was just, like, sometimes it was a bit, yeah. But, you know, parents are so busy, like, oh, yeah. insanely busy. But still, like, super nostalgia and, like, super good vibes because it was oh, always really nice. Yeah. Mom, my thing was, like, mum's homemade Chinese food. Oh, oh nice. Just every time she cooks, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's awesome yeah god it can be like hard to get those techniques down to you <laughs> oh look she's changed over the years but then now she's gone back and you're just like yes. it tastes the same again yes yeah <laughs> yeah, five year old Tay is just like, woo! <laughs> yep, my, my inner child just like running around in circles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honey chicken, honey chicken. <laughs> fried um, rice. Fried rice, fried rice. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so real. Um, I'd say that also, like, we mentioned seasons were a big one. For me, it was always we went camping a lot growing up. Like, we didn't have a huge amount of money, and like, camping was always so much fun and, and super inexpensive. So we'd, like, always take the tent whenever we had a chance, particularly during summer and and, um, spring, and just go out, find somewhere to camp, set up a tent, and just go for it. So, um, honestly, for me, probably favourite memories is just, like, that smell of the the campfire burning. Yes. Because that was always, like, associated with camping. So now, and it sounds bad, but, like, even when there's, like, you know, bushfires or, like, planned burn-offs and stuff like that, it gives me, like, a sense of, like, nostalgia that feels good and I'm just like no it's a fire that's not good (laughs) but like my brain is like oh but memories exactly yep I'm like it's not it's it's a bit bigger than a campfire Catherine (laughs) like yes yeah for sure but yeah so definitely camping and on the weekend I actually went down to Lake Centrance and as a kid we had very few sort of fun days out but they were almost always to lakes because we lived in Orbos and there was like nothing until lakes. So yeah, we'd go over there, we'd go on the paddle boats, we'd go on the go-karts. Um, honestly, some of my best memories in lakes. So it was like super weird going back there with a friend and being like, and we did that and we did that and we did that. <laughs> it was a very nostalgic weekend, that's for sure. Have you ever been back to a place that like you really never thought you'd be back to or oh, was it weird? Yeah, so... Um... I think it was me and Britt went to Painesville for a weekend. Oh, yeah. And because I used to go to Painesville all the time as a kid at New Year's Eve. And oh, like, of course. With the fireworks and yeah, everything. Yeah, and they I did was, the big display. Yeah, and like we went, I went back and we walked across like the jetty and that, even though it was crappy weather. But I'm just like throwbacks to like just walking down the street in Painesville. Yeah, literally. And yeah, it was, I was like, oh. Flashbacks to my childhood. I think everything's flashbacks to my childhood yeah. when it comes to nostalgia. <laughs> yep, totally. No, that is super valid. Nice. So what movies, TV shows, games, music or books bring out nostalgia? Nostalgic memories, should I say. Uh, that, yep. Yeah. Okay, so sometimes for the worst, definitely competitive board games like Monopoly. Oh. Bring out the bad type of nostalgia. Yes. The bad type. The the shadow place that we do not want to speak of. <laughs> Table where flipping. I lost all my friends. <laughs> yeah. And all my tables. <laughs> They're <Yes>. all flipped. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh my god. Some of the biggest wars with siblings happened over Monopoly, to be real. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> oh. Or you know. You know, oh my god, oh my god. Or even what else did I play as a kid uh, in like board games? I played Cluedo. Cluedo, that was a big one. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Sorry, you know the sorry game that you play? It like had all the bubbles. Oh, that yeah, you pop- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was super weird. And the same with Trouble. Trouble, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Oh, yep. Just so many games I used to play uh, really? Checkers. Checkers. And Chess. Chess. Go fish, or oh, oh. yeah, no wars. Wars were fought over those fish. So my yeah. nephew still asked me to play go fish all the time. <laughs> I was like, "Yep, I'm down. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it." Uh, Snap was oh, never. me and my sister, uh-uh. we were just like oh. constantly in. It. Oh, we'd get so, in so many yeah. fights. Yeah, literally. <laughs> no, it's not even a pair. <laughs> literally, it's like it's so much adrenaline, and then like I feel like that ramps you up like crazy. And they'd always have an excuse like. You cheated when you flipped the card. Your hand was already over the top of the pile. I was like, no, 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 no. And then you grab in the card and you rip it. And then your parents just like, that's enough. The cards are mine now. Nobody's playing now. You're both lost. (laughs) Like, yeah, fair call. Fair call. (laughs) Oh, dear. Um, Yeah. What else? Movies, TV shows, games. Probably like the movie that comes to mind when like 
is Lion King. Oh my god, yeah. And Toy Story. Mm-hmm. I Toy s- Story. Yeah, I used to watch them on repeat. Right? Constantly. It's insane. And I still watch them. Yes. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yes. Honestly, there are some crazy TV shows that just, I did not even, you don't even think about them, but then when you see them online, because a lot of people like post, particularly on Reddit and stuff like that, yep. um, all of the oldies, you see a meme every now and again about like particularly the Australian oldies. Yep. Um, and the, yeah, some of them just like crazy nostalgia. Like um, as soon as I try to think of one, it disappears. <laughs> I, had one I was in my saying head. before, like MASH. <laughs> like MASH, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. like Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yes, Whose Line, oh. yeah. Oh, I love it. I that was show. actually watching it today on Facebook. I'm just yes. like, it's not the same without the guy hosting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lady hosting it now. I'm just like, but it's still the same little, the same people in it. It's yeah. just um, Drew Carey, I think it is. The Drew one that Carey? used to, yeah, Drew Carey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used yeah. to host it, but yeah. now he doesn't host it. And it's a female, but it's still the same vibe. You're just like, oh. So good, though. Yeah. What else? Oh, literally. TV well, show-wise. Also, I was thinking, like, even things like Bananas in Pajamas or, like, Postman Pad. It's or... not the same anymore, though. That is true. <laughs> it's true. It's not, like, actual live action. It's animated. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I watched it. Oh, who, I think it was my niece watching Bananas, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Right? right? Who did this to him? That um, that magpie that always swooped in with like all of that uh, cellophane that made it all sparkly. Yo. Oh, I used to think that magpie was just a fairy. Like, I was so excited. But now I see the animation, I'm like, not the same. <laughs> it doesn't get the same vibe. Uh, right. Definitely Wiggles. Love the Wiggles. Um, You know that? Uh, it was called Soup Opera. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, the opera. <laughs> <laughs> I still see that on Facebook all the time. Right. It's like all the flashbacks. I was like, oh, <laughs> what just I bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird and so creepy. Like, what? And that, oh, what was the other one? It was on ABC3. Yeah. Um, and it was real creepy. It was. Yes, Grizzly Tales for yes, Gruesome Children. Yes. Gruesome Tales for Grizzly. Gris, one or the other. <laughs> Grizzly Children. Something like oh, that. Oh, <laughs> that creeped me out. It was terrifying. Oh, I'm just like, it was terrifying. turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Literally. <laughs> Speaking of horror, like for kids, um, the Goosebumps books. Oh, literally, I love so them. much nostalgia. Love them. Yeah. Babysitters Club. No, I've never. No. Oh, no. yep. They've recently brought out like a series of it, and it was just it brought back so much nostalgia because I read them religiously as a teenager, and I was like, oh my god, the Babysitters Club is finally a series. <laughs> so See, I, I, I read all like the Specky McGee's and yeah, all the footy stuff as a kid. Literally. And then when Hunger Games come out, I read all them. Yes. And the Div- Divergent series. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so I read all Oof. them. So what? many good nostalgic vibes. So now we're going to talk about the fact of the day. But, but, but first, we are talking about nostalgia. Yes, absolutely. I'm so excited to hear this fact of the day. Oh, I didn't write this one today. Really? No. Oh my god, that is unexpected. You are the queen of facts of the day. Yeah, I yeah. thought I might change so I'd get Danny to write it. Ooh. I chose the music though, so. Yeah, you know. that is, there we go. <laughs> that makes so much sense. It is great music. But also, let's see if Danny lives up to the fact of the day. Yeah. Sort of legend. This one's a know? bit long, though. Yep. So, like, the feeling of nostalgia. First critique, Danny? Yes. So, Here the feeling it. of. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the feeling of nostalgia used to be considered as an illness. Um, it was first contained in 1688 by Swiss. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what a name. <laughs> I think it's Johannes Hofer, a, yeah. phys- a physician. I think, which is like a GP back in the day. I'm just like, like a, a doctor. physician. It's what like, what does that phys- mean? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Such so an old term. Jo- Johann Hofer. Oh, don't. Yeah. Um, where he wrote that nostalgia was a deadly disease with no cure. That that is that's very dramatic. Um, Johan, you're a very dramatic person. Okay, <laughs> you might as well just chuck me in the. Yeah, I'm, I'm nostalgic all the time. <laughs> Literally, I was gonna say it's like, wow. 
Also, I think over-exaggerating is a deadly disease with no cure. Um, <laughs> Johan, <laughs> just say it. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, dear. But look, that, that held up to the fact of the day. I wouldn't even knew that. It I sounds, know that. It sounds a little bit... A little bit typical, though, isn't it? Like dudes being like, "Oh, emotions." No, you can't. Must have be em- a disease. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have emotions. <laughs> you got to shove them down like a like a physician. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh dear. That. Yep. Definitely sounds like history. <laughs> Let's oh, be real. Definitely. That. Yeah. Is a good fact. It, it's a surprising fact. There's a lot of things about history that don't make any sense whatsoever. And honestly, every time I learn something new about history, I'm always just like, what? Like, there's some what? full-on, like, history facts that I never knew about. Yeah. And, like, some of them I can't say on yeah. live. And I'm yeah. just like, what? How? <laughs> so if weird. you guys want to know what we're talking about, just Google history facts and you'll <laughs> yeah oh my god and there was just... one that come up on my feed the other day and it was that viking men were like really well groomed they so they would like brush their hair and bathe and for people who were in like um like dark ages britain and england it was super weird for them because a lot of people just had very little like hygiene and like beauty or care routines or anything like that and so a lot of the lords and stuff at the time were just like really worried about their wives go- <laughs> going off with Viking men. Please. <laughs> I know. Worry. I'm just like, whoa. So, yeah, I mean, fellas, if you're listening, hygiene, <laughs> do it. It's, it's good for you. Well, lady, <laughs> it's you know. Very good for you. <laughs> <laughs> hygiene uh, is best. <laughs> hygiene is a good thing, definitely. Uh, and we are talking about nostalgia today. So, we've just talked about like. Movies, music, anything that was nostalgic, even like what season it was. Yeah, literally. Or like the smell of smoke. Like, yeah. <laughs> some weird things that feel nostalgic. So now we're going to talk a little bit about like Wiltrobe Space. So, what memories of Wiltrobe Space is nostalgic to you? Oh, so many, so many memories. Um, I think for me, probably the biggest one was we used to go over to the, um, I love pizza past the place over Morwell. Oh, when we yes. very, very first started. Were you that you were there then, yeah, weren't you? Yeah. We used to go over there and we used to have like big feasts of pizza and oh it was so yummy. And just chat about things and yeah. like Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. It was really good. Um yeah, so that was really cool. That was like way back, even before it was an idea. Like we were developing the design principles for the space, like how we wanted basically the vibe. We were yeah. developing the vibe. It was it's Even just job. walking into like uh, the Italian club now. Yeah, Italian Australian club. We yeah. went there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was just like I remember. I think I went there for a function once, like after co-design, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I've missed this place. Literally, <laughs> right? We made so many buds there. Yeah, <laughs> so many friends. <laughs> it was awesome. But yeah, like there's so many nostalgic memories of the space. Like, gosh. Um, everything from, I suppose the stuff that's further back is more nostalgic, I find. Yes. But particularly right at the start when it was just like, everything was, they were trying to like develop programs and like get young people on board. And there was some really like inventive programs done. Like one summer holidays, they did like theater sports with Brenton. Oh yes. Oh, I love that. That was so good. That was a couple of years back now. I think it was when we first opened. Yeah. It was way back. Yeah. Two years ago. I know, I know, it goes so quick. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, because we just had our second birthday. Yeah, yep. Wow. Literally. It doesn't even feel like that long. Nah, it doesn't. See? I'm having a nostalgic <laughs> moment. Right? It's like, <laughs> what have we done? Okay, so this is now going to be the next hour, uh, half hour of the end of the show is just us crying on air. Yes. Um, <laughs> sounds of sobbing brought to you. <laughs> By Tay and Catherine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. But even just, like, like just seeing, like, the young people from how we did co-design come into, the, like, the space. Right. And just, like, I remember you. <laughs> Small people. <laughs> yes. What's happening? <laughs> yes. Because even though they're not on, like, the YGC, but you're just, yeah. like... 
you're still OG fam. <laughs> right? Literally. Yeah. It's super weird. Like, I'll see people down the street that I did the crow design with and we'll just give each other this, like, nod. It's just like, I miss you and you're my family and I'll always remember you. <laughs> it's hard to describe. I, I think some people can't, don't remember who I am. Yeah. Because I've had a haircut since yeah. then and they're just like, they're they sincere. know but they don't know and they just look at you. Like, and you just, is it you? It is me. No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's just like, what's happening, fam? Literally, oh, I love it. Um, the other one that always makes me feel nostalgic is um, YGC camp that we went on that year. I think it yep. was again a couple of years back. Oh, it was on my birthday actually. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it was just like it was such a good time. It was such a good vibe. It felt you know real summer campy. Um, I made so many friends on that camp, and like some of them are some of still some of my closest friends today. Like. The only thing I remember from that camp is that I think it was me, you, and Britt. Yeah. We're playing hopscotch. Yeah. I think it was hopscotch. Oh my god! Yes, yeah. it was. <laughs> Damn, I buried that memory. <laughs> yeah. That's all like like, and we used to just I can't remember what we threw, but we just <laughs> threw something and we had to like jump around it and. Right. I'm just like that's all I remember and like just the food and just like the fun times we had like the. Yes. Act like the Brenton. Oh, the improvisation yeah, thing that yeah. we did. That was super fun. Yes. Oh, my God. See, nostalgia. Just nostalgia up in here. Yeah. Got to turn the air con on. It's too thick with nostalgia. Yes. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. No. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, yeah. So moving on. Moving on from these feels. Uh, right in the heart space. Oh. I mean, head and heart. What a great song choice because this has hit us right yes. in the heart. <laughs> Um, so, what are you most excited about when the new space opens? Yes. Ooh. Oh, my God. So everything. many things. Literally everything. Everything. I just can't wait to work back in the space. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be so good. And just to see people, like, Just, like, friends. in real life. <laughs> oh, my God. I've, I've missed reality. Oh. It's been a time. <laughs> I'm sick of looking at a computer screen. Right? Oh, every day, all it's day. Like, as soon as I get back to work, there's... I'm not even going to touch a computer for just two don't days. Even. No. Yep. <laughs> just I'm just like, hey guys, hey guys, hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> I'll just be too excited. Right? Productivity is I'll be like be a at puppy that low. you can't stop running around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, I find that too. Like now when I'm around people, I just get so hyper. I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> I feel like, you know, in Dr. Zeus, you know, have you got thing one and thing two? Oh, yes. Exactly how I feel. Oh, it just reminded me of something. So, yeah. uh, because at cricket the other day, um, there was a girl down there and she was like, just ready to go. Like, she was pumped up and just ready to go. And I turned around to her and said, you know what you remind me of? And she's like, well, you remember this uh, movie Barnyard? No. You've never seen Barnyard? No, I haven't seen Barnyard, but go on. I'm sure that many of you listening might have. Um, I can't remember what they were called, but it was in a crate. And then as soon as you open that crate, it just bounced around. I think the song oh, that come on was like Cotton Eye Joe or something. <laughs> and they were just like, <laughs> I'll show you a clip <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> but, oh, I'm just like, it was just flashbacks. Just perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, my like, God. Wow. Literally. Sometimes people just remind you of characters or animals and you're just like, oh, my God, the resemblance. <laughs> it's a catty. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Love it. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm excited for pretty much everything. Very excited to, like, connect with people again. Very excited for, like, young people to have a space to go again, like, more physical, you know, face-to-face. Yep. Um, you know, we're not sure exactly when that'll happen. Like, it's all dependent on things, but fingers crossed. Hopefully. Eventually. I mean, you've got to say, eventually it'll happen. Eventually, down the line at some point. <laughs> soon soon yeah exactly oh, so keen yeah for sure i'm really excited to cook in the space i think i want to be like part of cooking classes oh yeah and, definitely yeah and i want to cook for people i just want to like be like yeah i'm gonna bake some bread anyone wants some like that's that's the vibes i and want now the we space can do to be live science like oh my we can god show yes. people and show like, they, can, they can even do it demos oh my god demos would be so good like if we just have demos happening like all day. <laughs> People oh. can come watch it. It'd be so good. And we can actually, you know, do more exciting stuff because yeah. you've got, like, people watching you and you'd be like, this is how you do it. You can't catch everything on camera. Nah, that's so true. Yeah, exactly. There's something, yeah, there's definitely something that can't can't be caught on camera. Nah. That's so true. And it's, like, one of the videos we did. It was, like, the best one so far. Yeah. 
but it, you've got to be there to watch it and like look how cool it is. Yeah, it's like a speaker one, and you like put slime on a speaker. Yes, and you have to be there to watch it. Just gotta be there. It doesn't look the same on it's camera. Not the same, man. I'm just like, Ugh. literally. Do you feel that movie industry is playing on our feelings of nostalgia? Uh, with remakes and reboots and revivals, how does that make you feel? Yeah, so chatting all about nostalgia today, and this is a really good question because it honestly does definitely feel that way. I feel like sometimes they're just like, I don't even think it's so much playing on our feelings of nostalgia necessarily. They're just like, this is what works and we don't want to have any risky investment. Yep. Like, particularly at the moment, because cinemas in so many countries are closed or restricted for access. Oh, so they're not making as much money from from the box office, you know, than they usually would be. Yep. And so I feel like a lot of the time, yeah, they've really just got to be like, okay, well, what do we know that works? Oh, this worked. <laughs> making every live animation. Oh, live, yeah, live, live action. Live action yeah. of every Disney movie. Oh, my God. Just we're gonna see just decades of live action remakes of old Disney movies. So the next twenty years will be live action movies right. from Disney movies. Which I mean, I gotta say, there it is really cool to have that stuff out there and like to see it done in in a slightly different way. But I feel but a lot it of the ruins time, your childhood. Yeah, it can definitely change things. It can be a game changer. It's like I went to the movies and watched the new Lion King when it first came out. Yeah, I'm just like. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. no this it's like us happen. with like bananas in pajamas. We're like, it's yes. animated now. No. <laughs> <How dare> they? <laughs> it's so real. Oh. oh gosh, look at us. We're like, oh, we're slapping to get over our lord over here. <laughs> it's like I was just talking to Danny before this. Yeah. Um, one of the ones that come to mind is Team Wolf. Yes. Because it yep. used to be with Michael J. Fox, I think. Yeah. It is. Yep. But now it's with a new bunch of people at like school and yeah i enjoyed the new one better than the old one yeah yeah honestly and old one absolute trash like, oh, definitely. <laughs> you look like a little dog <laughs> not a werewolf yeah no for sure oh it's crazy and also like i haven't seen the old one personally but yeah. um roswell new mexico yeah so it's all about like the aliens and but yeah. i like the new one yes. so i'm letting you look at the old one so yeah, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna uh, v- you know verify you. You, you know you're not always just hating on the old. Yeah, Pay is a, an unbiased, exactly. objective critic, professional objective. Critic. Just don't screw up. No. <laughs> just, <yeah. laughs> I will force them not to screw up. Yeah, literally, come at me. I'll Disney. write them a letter. <laughs> Strongly worded. <laughs> Strongly yes. worded. Oh dear. But yeah, like I feel as though there's been so many decades of um of uh, all these like old periods of time where you know a producer or a director has just like taken off, or that a particular film studio has been very creative, and then they got to a point, and I feel like I've read somewhere like Disney got to a point, and they just started mainly just doing like reboots of stuff yeah. instead of like writing new material because they had so many like financial issues like that would come up and down up and down so they were just like well we want to make sure that our bottom line is protected so they've done all this old stuff and I feel like yeah nostalgia is really powerful um it can definitely sort of carry across generations like a lot of the stuff that we love you know we love all the new Harry Potter stuff because you know or we love all the new Star Wars stuff maybe not the Harry Potter stuff anymore look I haven't seen all the Harry Potters I've seen like three of them yeah but I oh, like, you can still love it. It's I just... like the Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Like, the new ones better than, like, the the spin-off or whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, yep. And I'm like, I like them. I watched all of them. Yeah. Better than yeah. Harry Potter because I'm just like, eh. Yeah. They've got more of that, um like, adventure feel to them. Yes. And then... it's more, like, action-y. Yeah, action-y. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dramatic. I'm like, oh, and yeah. they're so cute little things and beasts. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I love that, yeah. And yeah, like same with Star Wars. Yeah. I watched all the old ones. Yeah. I would not even look at the new ones. Yeah? No. Because huh? it would just ruin my childhood. Oh. I was like... But you might love them, like Fantastic Beasts. Oh, but... It's so hard. It's like, it's such a risk. I watched like the ending of one and I'm just like, no. <laughs> no. 
It's oh. not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I turned Go, it off. Gonna have time to process, you know. <laughs> yeah, it takes like ten to twenty years. <laughs> yeah, ten to twenty years later, you'll be like, Maybe getting with I'll the kids, <laughs> get down with the kids. <laughs> I'll take you back to my era where I used to watch stuff in nineteen. So <laughs> back in my day, back in my day, in two thousand and one. Yeah, <laughs> literally, that's so real. Yeah. Um, also, have any remakes or re- reboots or whatever brought back? A feeling of nostalgia for you more recently? Um, I don't think so. Like, I see with like all the remakes with all the Disney movies I watched as a kid. Yeah. I, I watch them and I'm like, I can see where they're coming from, but I don't like them. Mm. But then, like, some of the main scenes are like not perfect, but perfect. Yeah. Like, in Lion King, there's some stuff missing, but I'm just like, I can still remember it in my childhood, and, yeah. Yeah. There's bits and pieces in there. Yeah. Yeah. But just, like, some of the song, or Not the even songs. the songs. I think in Lion King, there was hardly any of the songs. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. It's strange. Yeah. There was a few songs, I think, were there, but with all, like, the new actors that were in there and hmm. whatnot, it all changed, and... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, no, I like I definitely don't tend to watch um, reboots and remakes very much because I'm one of those people. I get very impatient. I'm like, oh, I've seen that before, <laughs> and I'm just like, it's so, it's so bad because I love song covers, which yeah. are essentially you know, yeah, yeah, they're the yeah. same song, they're just done different. And I should be the, I should be a bit more open to movies because movies like even if they're the same plot. They can still do different things with the plot, but they can also yeah. still do different things with the characters and the world of it. They can, like, transform it's, it in different ways, even subtle ways. It's like that the new live, oh, whatever, live action um, Milan. Yeah. yeah. Mushu's not in it. What? Yes. What? I was waiting for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> right? And the Little Red Dragon. No. Uh... Oh. And I would stop watching it. I was like, nope. No. Nope. None no. of that, please. None of that. Oh, oh my God. Sad, sad moment. So we've been talking about nostalgia today. And yeah, so. Yeah. And that was Love on Display by Guy Sebastian. What? Yeah. It's a good song. It, it's such a bop. It sounds like his old songs. It does, doesn't yeah. it? I love it. I love Nostalgic. It. <laughs> Talk about Love on Display. I'm loving it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's great. But. Oh, we still got time. I think. We've got a little bit of time. Oh, got like three minutes ish, roundabout. Yeah. Just about, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose we'll be wrapping up, but make sure that you stay tuned um, because up next we've got Keely bringing you total hits from 6 or 7 pm. No matter what you're doing on your Wednesday evening, always a great show, always a great time. Make sure that you tune in, whether you're doing the dishes or washing the car, although not in this weather, not definitely not in this weather. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's threatening. <laughs> it's threatening. It's like, oh, hey, I come in here in shorts. Can I, get ya? <laughs> I was like, it was nice today. It wasn't too cold, but it That's wasn't true. too warm. That's and I was true. like, shorts and it's like long sleeve. We got this. We but got I'm this. really hot because of my mm. sunburn. <laughs> oh, ouch. Yeah, that is super oh, classic. I'm just like, is it hot in here? Or is it just is me? It just, yeah, it's just you, Tay. It's just you. <laughs> I'm like sweaty. <laughs> it is actually quite warm in here, to be honest. Let's be real. <laughs> Um, But a couple of opportunities we've got coming up at Youth Space we want to mention before we head off um, for Youth Week, which is going to, well, Youth Week is actually a month and it's it's a whole month called Youth Week. And I'm just like, what? But honestly, in COVID, it's it's actually quite relatable. Yeah. It's like a week does feel like a month. Like, let's be real. Um, But yeah, so Youth Week's coming up from the 17th of this month till I believe the 15th of December. And for Youth Week, we are painting murals um, at on the bus shelters at Mid Valley. Um, yeah, and we're going to have young people come in in groups of nine and they can help us paint it. It's sort of, we're going to have all the outlines and all the paint ready to go. So it'll be nice and easy. So don't you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to have any fancy skills. Um, but we're also looking for positive messages to put on the bus shelters as well for people yes. who are waiting, yeah. which will be really good. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure to message our page. Um, and the other opportunity we've got coming up is we've got our La Trobe Youth Film Festival online still happening at the moment. Anyone who wants to make a short film, learn all the skills and get all 
all the tips and techniques to do so. We've got a bunch of workshops running, so you'll get all of the training you need and we'll give you all the support you need to make a short film, which will premiere early next year. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> roundabouts. Um, and the Latrobe Health Advocate, last but not least, the Latrobe Health Advocate is um, bringing uh, a bunch of consultations for young people, wants to know what young people want in the Valley, what they need, what they want. Um, she's going to be doing those consultations, I believe, next week. So if you're interested in those, get in touch again on our Facebook at Latrobe Youth Space or via our website, latrobeyouthspace.com, nice and easy to remember, um, or our Instagram or anything else. And, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. It's been a blast. We've really enjoyed hanging out. So many flashbacks. So many flashbacks and so many memories. It's making me tear up. Oh. No, I'm just warning. I'm really tired. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's time for bed. It, definitely. And, and on that note, it is time to go. DJ Tay, who set up this amazing playlist we've had this week. Do you want to announce our final song for this week? Yes. So going off with the Kai Sebastian theme. I would like to announce the last song is I Like It Like That. Like what? Like it like that. What? Like it like that. That? What? That. (laughs) (laughs) That's so lame. Um, By Guy Sebastian, and we'll see you all next week. See you soon.